It is September 1st. I can't believe it. Summer is gone. <laughs> Just like that. Snap your fingers. July, August, gone. But uh, sometimes September can be really good for all of September. And then as soon as you hit October, then it starts getting really cold. But uh, there have been really good temperatures some years all through September into October. I'm hoping that's the same this year. Um, but there have been cold Septembers and I'm hoping this is not the one. Although it's kind of cool this morning. Uh, I don't have my, the right. Oh, come on, dude, dude. So it's 18 degrees Celsius, which, you know, we've been used to like 25 to 35 temperatures. So it's, feels cool it's not cool but uh today i have to fix our wheelbarrow when uh ben and i brought up all that wood to fix the dock uh we loaded up the wheelbarrow and then the 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 wood on one of the wheelbarrow arms uh is was just rotted enough that when we put the weight on it the wheel slipped out and that was it the wheelbarrow was broken so my mom bought two new arms so I'm gonna bring it up onto the deck here and we'll see if we can take it apart and put it back together with the new the new wooden arms. That'll be cool. Well hello Moose. How you doing? There are the two arms. I'm going to have to grab all my tools. I'll show you, that's the very old wheelbarrow, but it's not as strong as this one. And this is the one with the busted wheel. And again, it all rotted here, so we have to replace these. I'm going to have to get all the toolage. This one's bent. That's not cool. That's going to be hard to figure out, maybe. I'm going to take this apart and put it back together. One nail in here. The holes don't really seem to line up with the same pattern as the old, so we're gonna have to probably drill, drill new holes. And of course, I have to take this off and transfer it onto here. Hmm. That'll help me, maybe. But again, this hole and this hole aren't really at the same level. Hmm. It's always a problem, right? Oh yeah. Got out the DeWalt drill, and I figured this is probably, this is the 3 8 and that pretty much goes into the hole. Maybe we can go down one. I just don't want it to be 5 sixteenths. It's probably dead on. 
don't know who invented this. It doesn't work properly. Yeah. It's funny, this one's way, a little bit too loose and the other one's too big. Hmm. We'll try one of these. Had to go into the shed, find some more uh, washers. There wasn't enough, for some reason there weren't washers on most of these things. And I think it's a good idea to have the washers on there. There we go. New washers all the way around. made a giant error. I totally forgot. Now I know why there weren't any extra washers is because this needs to go on like that. After I tighten it all up, I'll put the washer on here anyway, just to help. But uh, that's an extra hole that shouldn't be there. So I was wondering why I was missing a bolt and why there weren't any washers, but now we know. So now, the other thing is you always have to try to make sure that this kind of square part of the bolt goes up into this little thing and it'll stop it from turning. So let's try to do that again. There we go. That's easier. Legs are all back on. Now, and these are back on, these two uh, support struts maybe. And I gotta put this on for the wheel and that has to go in there. So I have to make a new hole. So I put uh, some marker around that pen. Now I'm gonna drill that out. Like a glove. I think I have to put the wheel on at the same time I put the next one on. I don't recall what stopped it from moving from side to side. Oh, I'm got, oh, that's what it is. You've got to turn this one around. Got it.
looks like it needs to be up more. But then this thing's in the way. It's like this thing. This is what it used to look like. That's exactly where the two holes are. That's where it's supposed to be. You need something to stop it from going out. Oh, this will stop it, the end piece. And that's what will do it. My next biggest problem is going to be where I put it there. So, because I was sticking out the bottom, we banged it probably on a rock and now it's bent. So I have to figure out how to straighten it without wrecking it. And if not, then I'll have to try and find another bolt to stick in there. And this will hold it from coming apart and letting the wheel fall off. Because these two have to be a little bit closer together and that will do it. totally locked out grab the hacksaw because that's the next step I tried really hard to straighten that but uh, I don't have a vise and uh, I put this on so I would protect the uh, thread and hit it with a hammer many times but I don't have anything strong enough to hold this side so I'm gonna keep that we need that and I'm gonna hacksaw this out and one of the things I was thinking of, sometimes you have really bad luck building things, uh, repairing things, whatever, and sometimes you just, luck of the draw, sometimes I found a perfect replacement. Look at this, exact same length, pretty much, same size, perfectly straight, really rusty, but it'll work. Let me cut this out and uh, then we'll install it. Perfectly cut off. Interesting that this is just a round hole. I think they would have put square again for the end of this bolt. Stops it from spinning around when you're trying to tighten it. And again, when I put this, I'm gonna put it up this way again. And uh, but I'll have to pull these two, pull these two arms in. It's not too rusted. Wheelbarrow all done. Let's stand it up. Oh yeah. Perfect. Brand new. The only, the only thing is these pieces of wood were a bit thicker this way and so there's a bit of a gap here but all this needs to do is to stop these two pieces of wood from separating to let the, wall, the wheel drop out. It's a weird design but it works. All done. Carol and her friend are coming back from their kayak ride. Now it's time to go to the fridge and grab a club soda, rehydrate, and then uh, oh, drop it on the computer. Not cool. And there's one right there. Look at that. Sweet. 
other little jobs we have to do around the cottage. Hope you enjoyed this vlog and we'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Cheers.